Okay, so now let's look at activating your email address to work with Google Apps. And you'll see here it says not active, so what we'll do, we'll click activate email address. And the next page we go to will give us a bit more information. Um, Google, I've obviously already know that my domain is uh, hosted with GoDaddy and it gives you the information here and it also gives you the steps. We just scroll down, it tells you everything you need to do to actually uh, change your, CM, your MX records within GoDaddy to get it to work. Okay, so if you're not familiar with GoDaddy, you can follow all the steps here. There's also other domains or other hosting companies. If you click on each one, it'll give you the steps that's taken to change them in the administration account. So we'll just jump back to this, look at GoDaddy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and log into my GoDaddy account. Okay, once you've logged in, just click on My Account. Okay, and on the left-hand side under My Products, you'll see Hosting Account List. So click on Hosting Account List. This will then display a list of your the um, websites you've already got hosted with GoDaddy. So you'll see the list and from there you want to pick the one that you actually want to edit. So I'm going to choose my domain here. So I'll just click uh, Open. It opens up the uh, Hosting Manager. Okay, now your Hosting Control Center is loaded up. Um, we're going to go in and change the settings. We'll go, if we could jump back to Google, it shows you here a different way actually to go in. So you it says select the domain name first, then choose total, total DNS control list. Um, I've gone in through the hosting account way, so I've gone into the hosting account. So under the hosting for this for my domain name, I've click on settings and I want to select DNS manager. Now we'll just minimize these, make sure they're minimized. Okay, now these are the MX, these are the mail exchange records that I want to actually change here. So what I'm going to do is uh, Delete this what I've currently got. And it asked me to actually confirm that. And it says pending removal. I'm going to go and delete the other one as well. Okay, now what I want to do here, I'm going to want to actually click Add New MX Record. So if I go back to Google Apps Domain, these are the records I actually need to add. So just scroll down a bit here. And the first one I need to add is this one. So I'll copy everything there. And it says priority value is 10. And then host name is the at symbol and the value is one week. So I've got that copied. So what I'll do is go back to here and I'll select add new MX record. Change it to that. And that's the first one done. Then I click OK. This is review data. I'm going to click OK on that. So then I'll just jump back here. I'm going to get the next one. This one's 20, and it's at, and it's one week. So that's pending. So I'll click Add New MX. Select 20. The host name is at. Copy that in there. And I click OK. It's actually cutting off half of the page here, which you can't quite see. Um, I think it's due to the Ajax forms that's loading, but uh, you just go through all of the MX records like this um, until you completed them. So I'll just go through them now. Okay, this last one just 50, so I'll just add the last one in there. Right, 50. Okay, and I click OK. records were done it says okay so that's me now I've got exactly the same here showing as what it shows you in the Google Apps account so you see you've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 I've copied all these across now once I've done it says down here click continue which I've done in GoDaddy and I've clicked and added each entry until they've all done and you'll show them here it just says pending pending and pending so if I just jump back to Google Apps what I'm going to do here I'm going to click down the bottom it says I've completed these steps so that's just to verify that I've done that I've done everything that they've asked me to do. Now you'll notice over here it says it's now updating. Um, it says uh, we're checking the MX records with name. This may take up to 48 hours to complete. So that's really all there is to it to actually set in all the MX records. Now once them once uh, that's updated, um, it will come here and it'll say updated and it'll say active, and that's me. Then I can click here and start viewing my Gmail to.